Okay, now we're gonna see an overspeed demonstration. Again, might be the first time in a, a swept wing jet at high altitude. Now, overspeed was more of a threat or safety concern for first generation swept wing jets like the 707 DC-9. The, the NG wing here is designed very safe. We get, it's been certified well into VVO and VMO, mm -hmm. but we always honor speed limits. So in the event we get a speed limit, inadvertently into VMO or VVO, it's an automatic logbook entry. Mm -hmm. But the point here is the airplane flies just fine. It's not as big as a safety threat where we're gonna have mock tuck or uncontrollable dive like we might 40 years ago with a uh, first generation swept wing jet. So most likely we'll see an overspeed condition during mountain wave conditions or high altitude crews next to a jet stream or turbulence. So as pilots, we always wanna be aware of the threats out there. If we have some forecast turbulence or mountain wave ahead of us, we might want to slow down from our econ speed. So right now at FMC speed, our econ is just about 7.9, mm -hmm. and we don't have a whole lot of margin before VMO right there. The limit right now is 0.82, and where you get into anything more than a visual inspection of the wing is exceeding Mach 8.39. So there's quite a bit of protection there. The bigger threat that we see for a mountain wave or an overspeed is pilots will tend to overcorrect. They'll turn the auto throttles off, bring the thrust lever back, and decelerate, not knowing how long it takes the engine to spool back up. It's a long spool up time. Exactly, altitude, and yeah. you see how difficult it is right. with the low speed behind the power curve to accelerate back. Mm -hmm. So the flight handbook says for an overspeed, if you can manage it ahead of time and bring back your mock up here, intervene, that's just fine. Okay. If you do get an overspeed, we highly recommend that you stay on the autopilot and the auto throttles. Okay. Select a slower speed, and if you need to use a little bit of speed brake to bring it back below the, uh, the speed limit, uh -huh. then that's what we want to do. So let's say that I did turn off the auto throttles. What's about the maximum I want to bring back the, uh, the N1s? Well, that's a good point. Certain conditions, they actually tell us by procedure to turn the autopilot and the auto throttles off. Right. In the event we had an upset uh -huh. or a high altitude stall, autopilot auto throttles are going to come back. But for the purposes of an overspeed, if you have to turn off the auto throttles, no less than 70% N1, that'll allow you to decelerate and to not lose too much thrust to keep your capability here. Right. Again, yeah. there's so much drag as we get up above Mach 8, Mach, Mach 8, uh, o, Mach 8 1, that naturally the aircraft is going to want to slow down. The okay. 737 is so robust and strong, it's been certified and flies well beyond those values okay. for safety purposes. Okay, so a demonstration, we'll go ahead and show you what a mountain wave looks like. Okay. We'll probably see a little bit of turbulence, a deceleration, and for training purposes only, we'll take it right into the overspeed. Okay. I'll have you go up here and select a slower mock, down we'll to do Mach 7.6. Okay. And if you need to use speed brake, we'll go ahead and do that. We'll do this after we go into the overspeed. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. And we, as we go here, we see our optimum altitude on the cruise pages. 35,000 feet. And we'll go ahead and on the N1 limit page, max continuous, align, line select that. It's okay. available up to 100%. So now we're ready. Here we go. We'll okay. see a mountain wave here. So, Doug, this is a typical mountain wave encounter. Okay. For training purposes only, I'm going to have it go all the way into the overspeed so okay. we can practice our procedure. Uh, looking at our max continuous, we set that. Um, our optimum cruise is 350. Now, if we were really in mountain wave or turbulence, we go ahead and select a slower mock value right. right now. For training only, we'll take it all the way to the overspeed. Okay. So here we go. Mountain wave will be coming up here. We see typical indications on the speed tape where the uh, airspeed's bouncing around a little bit, a little bit of turbulence. There's your overspeed. Okay, 0.76, please. Okay, we're taking a slower 7.6 here. Still in the overspeed, we'll use a little bit of speed brake. Auto throttles are coming back. Now we're out. Going to stow the speed brake. And there we are. We give yourself a little bit more margin there at Mach 7.6. A right. little high speed and a low speed protection there.